Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm going to be sharing with you a very exciting unboxing. I've been wanting a turntable or a record player for a very long time and today it's finally the day that I get to share with you the one I ended up picking up. So I'm going to go ahead and change the angle so you can see me opening it up and I will go ahead and leave all the information and the item description on the section below and also the website where I purchased my turntable. So let's get right into it. I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and lower the camera so you can see. All right, so let's go ahead and open it. The first thing that I see is a letter that says, we hope this turntable brings new life to your music. If you need assistance or have any questions, please contact us. And it has their information and it says happy listening the U-Turn audio team. It's really thoughtful, I really like this. And it also comes with the receipt, but it has my information, so I'm not going to show that. In here, That is the platter. I ended up getting the acrylic one. I'm not sure how to take it out. So that is the platter with the cloth. We'll go ahead and take those out in a second. Then, as you can see here, we have the extra orbit belt that I ended up picking up. I got an extra one and I'll let you know in a little bit for what. Then we have the cable that comes with it for the outlet and the extra one that I bought. I'm assuming that is the charger or the connection to turn it on. And then this is the top. And that is the turntable. So let me go ahead and take it out and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now I've put it on top of this carton part so all you do is take this off it's really nice the one that i went for is a custom built white colored it has a built-in preamp q lever i ordered the acrylic platter and the order font 2m red which I've done a lot of research and I thought that this would be the best one for me to get. I am starting out so I wanted something that was good but also that I wasn't going to have to replace in the future. I'm planning to stay with this one for years. So this is the acrylic platter. Let me go ahead and put it on. Wow. Mine has, like I said, a built-in preamp. Let me go ahead and add the felt on top. Oh wait, does it go? I think it goes like that. Wow. And let's get the belt. Okay, so I was able to put it on, but it was a little difficult, so I wasn't able to show you 
Right now I have it on a 33 and a half. And I'm going to turn it around so I can show you how the preamp looks and connect it to my speaker. The turntable actually comes with these cables here, but I don't have actual speakers. I'm going to be using my small speaker, so I bought an extra cable that comes with this type of attachment. So let's go ahead and connect that to that. We just have to make sure that the colors are in the right spot. There you go. And there you go. And then lastly, we just have to connect this end to the other side of my speaker. And the power one. And I'll connect the power ones on the other side. And let's try to turn it on and try it out and see how it looks. I did want to go ahead and mention that I did not put the top on just because I'll do that at the end. I want to try it out first and then I'll go ahead and put this. But on the pictures, you'll go ahead and be able to see how it looks all put together. To go ahead and try out the turntable, I'm going to be using a this vinyl. So let's go ahead and put it on the platter. Okay, so we have placed my vinyl and you have to make sure you take the top off. And we're gonna go ahead and move the arm. And I'm gonna place it right there. died so I wanted to go ahead and get on the phone to let you know everything so always do your own research when it comes to purchasing something that's going to be pretty much an investment for the music that you're going to hear and to make sure that you're getting something that you really want something that fits your lifestyle and your budget so I have a few things I wanted to say I'm gonna look down to see on my notes I saw some videos that mentioned that there's issues with the belt because when you change from the 33 and a half speed to the 45 and you want to turn back or you want to move it back it tends to not sit right on the platter so what I thought was if I got an extra one and used the 33 and a half specifically with that belt and then had another for the 45 then there shouldn't be any issues i'm hoping that is my plan so that's why i have an extra one so when i have to change the speed i will just change the belt so it doesn't overstretch and hopefully that fixes the issue another thing that i forgot to mention is that i did hear that on previous turntables from previous years, they have some type of issue with the motor making some type of noise or something like that. But the people that I saw here on YouTube that stated that also said that the customer service uh, was super good and they asked for their information to try to verify. I'm assuming that they actually had um, a turntable from them and they ended up sending them a replacement turntable so i'm very aware that their customer service is really good so that's not something i'm concerned about because i know that in the future they'll go ahead and fix the issue to you know my situation i did not see that many negative things online about this company u-turn also has great customer service pretty much to sum everything up everything was really well packaged i really really liked it they have very good customer service my turntable got to me in about a week 
and when I sent an email trying to get an update regarding my uh, packet, they went ahead and answered in a very fast manner. I really enjoyed the whole experience, opening the box and taking everything out. It just seems that it's going to be a great turntable. So that would be the end of the video. I'm very thankful that you stopped by to spend some time with me. Thank you so much for also being patient. I'm sorry about the quality of the audio. And I'm trying to kind of learn how to do hauls for big packets like that. So I'm trying to get better. Thank you so much for being understanding. I'll get better at that. I promise. But that would be it for this week's video. I'm very happy with the purchase. Again, everything is linked down below for you if you want to check it out. They're an amazing company, so check them out and let me know if you already have one. And if you have any other suggestions for any future videos you'd like to see from me, please leave it down in the comments. I'll be looking for those and I will see you in my next one.